Hi, I'm Zoe Estabrooks. I'm an outreach coordinator with Ducks Unlimited Canada. Today we're here at the Irving Nature Park in St. John to celebrate St. Rest Marsh becoming one of the first treasure wetland sites in New Brunswick. The Treasure Wetlands of New Brunswick program really aims to get the public out and educate them on why wetlands are important and realize the values that wetlands have in our communities. So some wetlands are really important for flood mitigation. When we have really big storms with a lot of rain, they'll absorb that water like a sponge. And then when the weather's more dry and we're having drought, it releases that water back into the ground. And then other types of wetlands, like this salt marsh here, are really good to buffer the big waves and storms against the coastline. So they'll help with reducing erosion. And then we have other wetlands that are really good for carbon sequestration. They're amazing spots for biodiversity and they're really good to have in our communities. Hi, my name is Nancy Perry. I'm the site manager here at Irving Nature Park, and we are thrilled to be named as one of the first treasured wetlands by Ducks Unlimited. Since the park's inception in 1992, the staff have provided the visiting public with an in-depth description of the flora and fauna in the marsh. The peninsula of volcanic rock and forest on the Bay of Funday is swept twice daily by ocean water from some of the highest tides in the world. As one of New Brunswick's richest ecosystems, it attracts a number of marine and migratory birds. The area is a traditional staging site on the flight pass from South America to the Arctic and a feeding ground for large tracts of shorebirds along the Atlantic coastline. More than 250 species of birds have been seen during the migration period and St. Rest Marsh is internationally renowned as a bird staging area. The mudflats ecosystem separates the salt marsh from the Bay of Funday and provides an essential link in the food chain. The ecological role of the marsh and adjacent mudflats cannot be overstated. Resident and migratory waterfowl, shorebirds moving south, and the creatures of the Bay of Funday that are fed on the biomass originating in this wetland all rely on us as stewards of the land to keep this area as natural as possible.